The first version I released for Pi Menus for ZBrush had a few handy features to control some sliders in ZBrush. In order to simplify the second version, Pi Menus version 2 didn't came with those slider controls. And I was meant to release a plugin where you could control some sliders in ZBrush. I never got to release that plugin because it would be really complicated to set up all the sliders and some users of the Pi menus were still using the, the first version to control some of those sliders that were really handy. Now I'm releasing uh, Mad Pony sliders and it only has three uh, different controls three different slider controls, which I consider to be probably the most useful ones. So basically they are three different buttons that will control two sliders at the same time. Let's look at draw size and focal shift first. To control your draw size and focal shift, you usually come here to this menu and you use these sliders. So it controls both of those sliders. I have a hotkey set up to this. If I trigger that hotkey, I just did, you can see in your note bar, it tells you the draw size value and the focal shift value as you move your cursor around. So if I go up and down, I can control my focal shift. Left and right, I can control my draw size. Once I'm happy, I can click the same hotkey that triggered this menu and I get slider mode done and I'm out of that slider mode. So really fast and easy way, also a smooth way of controlling your draw size and your focal shift at, at once. Another one is bevel resolution and width. So uh, as you can see here, I got my model creased in some areas. So to do this, I have used Pi menus in my system, but you can use a hotkey if you like. So in my Pi menus, I have this bevel slider. So up and down will give you the bevel width, as you can see up there in the note bar. And left and right will give you the resolution. So really, really easy way to control your bevels in this fashion. If you're using uh, Pi menus and you trigger a Pi menu, that will leave slider mode. So same thing as clicking on the button again. And then you also have canvas, pan and zoom. This, if you are working with millions of polys, it's probably gonna slow down your computer, but uh, it's, it's quite handy. When I trigger it, what happens is up and down, we'll zoom in and out. Left and right will move your model left and right. And you can see that it's popped right to the center of my cursor. Now, if I just trigger a Pi menu, for example, or just click it again, it happens a lot that you can't see your model when you load it up. And so this is a really cool uh, way of getting your models right to the center of the screen. And you can zoom in and out a little bit, not too much. Uh, so yeah, I, I hope you like uh, this functionality and I'll see you in the next video.